Great. So we are here with uh, Pierre Belec, a professor at the University of Montreal, and also organizer of the hackathons at OHBM. So welcome, Pierre. And, Thank you. Uh, Thank you maybe, for absolutely, it's a pleasure. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about what you do at hackathons. So hackathons, the main oh, time is spent working. So at the beginning of the event, where everybody comes and pitch a project if they want to. And if that generates enough interest, little teams start to build and they just sit down and they work. So that the, the, the basic idea of the hackathon was to take you know, those five minutes during conferences. You have a coffee, you meet somebody, you have exciting idea, but you have to go back to the talks. So the idea was to take that little chunk and stretch it out to the length of the conference. Uh, Do you need to know how to code to be at a hackathon? So that's a common misconception. I mean, the hackathons, they come from the tech community initially. So people associate them strongly with coding. But we've tried to cater to a different type of community. And we, we see all kinds of people coming to the hackathon and having a great time. Uh, just an example, Jonathan Smallwood is a psychologist. And uh, he, he, he came with some students with very interesting data and not necessarily all like good ideas about how to exploit that data and he met with people with more technical skills and together um, I, I think they got a great analysis done that you know wouldn't have happened otherwise so yeah no definitely uh, there's been lots of examples of people without coding skills and really uh, making the best out of the hackathon so how did uh, this year's meeting go I think it was great. I organized it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was very objective. <laughs> no, um, I, I, I mean the, the feedback was uh, overwhelmingly p positive. So I think it's safe to say it, 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 it went well. We went in in a place that's called Université, and it's a, it's a special hub with people from the small businesses, uh, do-it-yourself laboratories in biology, hackerspace, makerspace. I mean, we had a plasma cutter. Uh, we, we actually cut a plexiglass brain with, with a laser. So, you know, this, this type of thing um, just open up possibility uh, for everyone involved. Cool. So, last question, somewhat uh -huh. personal. Swiss cheese or a Swiss chocolate? Oh, God. Swiss cheese. All Definitely. Right. I'm French. <laughs> I like cheese. Thank you very much, okay. Pierre, for joining us.